Hey guys, this is Brett Bingold from Professional Growth and Development, and you're probably going to hear some children in the background. My daughter is doing her remote learning right now. She's doing small group, um, but this isn't like an official <laughs> mini PD. I am just putting this out here because I had so much great feedback yesterday on that tip of how to split a screen into two, and it's really, really, really simple. So let's say you have your kids um, working in Buzz somewhere and you also have them on a flip grid okay you just have to teach them to pull this tab out and just take it all the way to the edge of the screen and let go okay so let's watch that again all the way see how it kind of bumps it wants to bump out and let go okay so bump out and let go okay now i have other stuff open because i have two screens here let me show my email that maybe that'll help okay your kids don't have two screens so and this might be why it's not working for you too, because if you have two monitors, you're like, it's not working. But the kids only have the one monitor on their Chromebook. So then what you do is you have them take this one, okay? And you would have them do the same thing. Now mine disappears because I've got two screens, okay? Um, so what you would want them to do is you would want them to be sized next to each other. So what you would do is just have them size it. Use the arrow, size it down. And that way they could see maybe your lesson and also be engaging in whatever you wanting them to do on Flipgrid or Jamboard or Google Slides or whatever their thing is that you want them to do, okay? Or a Kahoot or something, and maybe you're in a WebEx. Um, you can do this while you're in a screencast as well, like me. Um, I'm in a screencast right now. Um, so think about um, just having them size those two screens together and teaching them how to do that so they can have more than um, one page open and they're not constantly flipping back and forth through tabs because that can be really hard for kids, um, especially the younger ones. That's it. That's just resizing um, and framing out two different screens um, so students can see two different things at the same time. Okay. All right. Have a good one. I'm glad you're excited about it. I hope it wasn't like too underwhelming for you. <laughs> Bye guys.